This protocol is significant as the PIVIC allows for direct exposure of a cell culture to real-world aerosols. The system can be worn to sample the same air a person breathes, enabling a new type of air quality monitoring. The main advantage of this technique is the ease of capturing aerosols onto cultured lung cells at locations inaccessible to benchtop systems, such as at the source of admission or within the breathing zone. Demonstrating the procedure will be Dr. Lynn Secundo, a recent graduate from my laboratory, and Nathaniel Weigel, an undergraduate student from my laboratory. For this experiment, store test materials in controlled environment for 24 hours prior to the test. To assemble the dry dispersal system, connect a ball valve to one end of the 4-inch long, 1-8th size threaded pipe. This serves as the particle hopper. Through the open end of the particle hopper, put in desired amount of copper nanoparticles. Then close the particle hopper with another ball valve. Connect a 2-inch long, 1-8th size pipe to the valve. Place a 3-inch long, half-inch outer diameter tubing around the 2-inch pipe. Insert a HEPA filter inside this short tubing, ensuring the flow direction is through the ball valve. Using threading, connect the vacuum generator to the other ball valve. Then, connect the vacuum generator to the air tank. Put 1 4th inch outer diameter tubing over the outlet of the vacuum generator to connect it to the experimental setup. Turn the main valve and regulator valves on the air tank to set the desired flow. Open the ball valve closest to HEPA filter, then open the ball valve closest to vacuum generator. Keep them open during characterization or exposure before...